What is the sliding filament theory? The sliding filament theory explains that muscles contract by shortening muscle fibers at a sarcomere. So let's explain how this works. The multi-step process where myosin and actin fibers overlap and shorten the length of the muscle cell starts with a myofibril, one part of a muscle cell. So looking at this myofibril, we could break it down into a basic unit called a sarcomere, which we can see a little bit differently on the right. So these repeating units of sarcomeres are found across, running horizontally across the length of this myofibril. Let's look at this sarcomere. The thick black line in this sarcomere is called myosin. It is a protein filament. And the thin black line is called actin. It's another protein filament. When a nerve impulse reaches a muscle, calcium is released into the myofibrils. These calcium ions cause the myosin and actin filaments to attach to one another. When they attach, the myosin filaments drag the actin filaments to the center of the sarcomere, as you can see here. This causes the muscle to shorten or contract. ATP is necessary for this contraction. When the muscle relaxes, again, the filaments slide back to their original um, positions. So when you say muscles shorten, they contract. And when they lengthen, or I should say go back to their original positions, they are relaxed. And this is the sliding filament theory.